What's going on you guys? This is a Max KD. I have, an, I have another Dell Inspiron 660. This is the mini tower and we're upgrading the power supply. Show you how to do that. So first you need a Phillips screwdriver. Then you're going to move the screws here in the back. And you're going to slide the side cover panel to the left. And the power supply in here is pretty good, it's got a 300 watt, but I'm just going to upgrade it and we're going to do remove the 4 pin power hook right here. We're going to disconnect the SATA power right here from the optical drive. And from the hard drive or if you have a solid state drive, disconnect that one. And you're going to disconnect the 24 pin, it's got a secure clip right here in the middle, so you take your finger gently. And it should come out like this. Same with the 4 pin right here, it's got a secure clip you have to press on to release. And that's going to be it, so what we're going to do is remove the, the, the screws in the back from the power supply. Now there's a clip, what you're going to do is you're going to press on the clip right here, press it down and your power supply will slide to the right. And guys, I'm going to be using the 450 watt NTEC. This would be perfectly fine, you don't need anything bigger because the video cards installed here is a GTX 1050 Ti, you don't even need that much power. So it's a 450 watt NTEC, you can probably go online and get the exact same one if you want, it's a VP450. And they have other better ones, you can just go with the Seasonic if you want to go with the cars there, they got a... Or you can go with the Cooler Master. So slide it back in. Now you're going to connect back the 24 pin. And the 4 pin. And you're going to connect uh, the power to the optical drive. And I do recommend using the wire ties for the cable management. I'll do that later. And you're going to connect uh, SATA to... You're going to power right here directly to the hard drive or solid state drive you have right here. This does have a six pin power. If your video card does take in, it does have an, uh, just only one six pin power. This is for the video card. And I'm going to install the screws back.
And you're gonna put the side cover panel back on. I'm going to show you guys the back side. So this is how it's going to look like when you install the, the new power supply. So guys, this will be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.